Hi friends and family, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, bienvenidos, my name is Joanna. Nice to meet you and please consider subscribing and joining our wonderful fusion family where we're all about good food and diversity. Today I'm gonna to go over how to make carnita Sinaloa style. Sinaloa is a northern state in Mexico and each state of Mexico has its own unique way of preparing certain dishes. This just so happens to be my family's recipe and I hope that no matter where you guys live in the world, you'll be able to recreate this recipe as well. Now I'm gonna leave all the ingredients as well as the measurements down in the description box, like always. And before I start rambling and digressing, let's get started. Here are the ingredients I'll be using today. Some pork shoulder, a few navel oranges or any oranges in season, a small head of cabbage, a medium onion, garlic, a few bay leaves, salt, and whole peppercorns. Begin by washing your meat, then roughly cut the pork shoulder into one and a half by one and a half inch cubes. This is optional, but you can trim off any excess fat or keep it. It's up to you. On a different cutting board, cut the onion in half and cut the head of cabbage into four quarters. To a stock pot, add the pork cubes, the quartered cabbage, the onion halves, some bay leaves, some peeled garlic cloves, the peppercorns, salt, and some water, just enough until the cabbage floats. Cover and simmer over medium heat for 45 minutes. In the meantime, cut the navel oranges in half and begin squeezing the juice from them. You can use an appliance like this or juice them by hand. We'll need about 500 milliliters of orange juice. After 45 minutes, we're ready to remove the pork from the broth to cool. You can compost or discard the remaining vegetables. Be sure to reserve half a cup of the broth and the remaining broth can be used for rice or as a soup stock. In a wok or a large pot, add some vegetable oil or lard if you prefer and begin heating the oil over medium low heat. A trick to knowing if your oil is warm enough is to place a wooden spoon or chopstick into the oil and if it bubbles like this, the oil is hot enough to fry with. Carefully add the pork to the oil slowly so the oil doesn't splatter too much. Now begin maneuvering the pork to evenly coat everything with oil so it develops a nice crispy exterior. Be sure to keep an eye on it while it's in the oil. You don't want to over fry them. That'll make your carnitas very dry and nobody likes that. Once the pork pieces begin to look something like this with a crispy slightly browned outer layer, it's time to remove them from the oil. Now we're going to place the pork meat into a clean skillet and add the orange juice that was squeezed earlier, a bit of salt, and add the reserved pork broth from earlier. Give it a mix and leave uncovered to simmer over medium heat for about 30 minutes. You want the liquid to reduce until it looks like this. The length of time can vary depending on your stove, so just keep your eye on it as it simmers. That's it! The meat should be fork tender, but with a crispy outside and juicy on the inside. We like to enjoy our carnitas al estilo Sinaloa in tacos with some diced tomatoes, thinly sliced radishes, avocado slices, a sprinkle of queso fresco, homemade salsa verde, and a squeeze of lime. Ay, que delicia. I really hope you can give the Sinaloa style carnitas recipe a try. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe to join our wonderful family. But again, guys, like always, I'm sending you off con un beso enorme se me cuida and I'll see you guys next time. Suerte. I forgot what I was gonna say. Take number three. Something funny about women from Sinaloa, we run our mouths. This is why intros are so hard for me because I just talk and talk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.